Katia 3D Experience. Let's take a look at the save option. So this will be different than within Katia V5. In order to save your file, you're going to go to go over here on this arrow. You're going to click it and you're going to find save underneath that. If I'm just going to leave the mouse on top of save, we're going to see a tooltip saying that this will save the modification made to the content in the current tab. So the tabs within Katia will be over here. This is a new empty tab where I only have a default assembly and a part over here. And this is the one that I want to save. So in order to save it, I'm going to go over here, click save. And we're going to see that I will be notified that all objects are already being saved. Operation is ignored. This is because I didn't do any changes. Let's say that I want to change, um, let's say, this pad to be 125. That will go all the way and update. And now if I will go and I will hit save, we're going to see that save progression. And that will be the same as within Katia V5. Maybe you recognize that, uh, that little window over there. Now, underneath save, we also have a drop down. And over here, we can go with save with options. And this will save the modification made to the content with advanced options. And advanced options will allow us to, let's say, um, see the history of the modification made on object. And that is quite uh, important. We can also create a, a new revision. Let, and let's take a look at this save with options. We're going to see that the active tabs will appear over here. If I'm going to click on those, we're going to see the preview. This is the part that I have in this tab. We're going to see it over here within the preview, and we're going to see the one over here, which is the new part. And over here, we're going to have various settings. So we can save as new, we can save as a new branch. So you can also filter if you have a lot of components over here. So there are a lot of elements that can be added over here. Another option will be over here to do a local save. And this will save locally authoring auto session, as you can see over here. So one of the main, let's say, drawback of Katia 3D experience is that it's so heavily connected to the web platform and to the cloud. It's a little bit harder to manage files. So if you want the file to be transferred and still remain editable, and it will not be within your work group. You have over here the possibility to do a share. And you're going to have the possibility to share within the collaborative space. Now, depending on your license and uh, depending, let's say, on the, um, the roles that you have, you can choose to create uh, additional uh, collaboration space over there and share your files directly. You can also share this to the community, as you can see. But keep in mind that this will publish a document um, or a content as a 3D XML file. So it will not be a CATIA editable file. And we have over here also a 3D drive, if, um, if people want to use that. And you can also share this experience. But other than that, if you want to maintain an editable CATIA file, you will have to go with normal save over here. You can also export, and over here you're going to see that you can export within a large variety of file formats. Usually, step file format is the most common in this case, since that will integrate both surfaces and solid components. OK, so this was an overview regarding saving in 3D Experience CATIA. I will position a similar video over here on the left side, and I will also add a subscribe button to the right. So that's it. Thanks for watching.